Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 22 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now, in today's episode, this is going to be how to glamorize photos. And basically, glamorizing photos is used for photographers and other picture editors who want to make a picture look better than it really is. So um, let's take an example like this. This is our before image. And this is our after image. And as you guys see, there is a great difference. We have cleared up a lot of her skin. We have ch kind of changed the eye color. And we've kind of give a dramatic um, kind of effect to uh, the picture with coloring the eyes a kind of more of a darker green. Uh, but still lowering down the opacity of the eyes. And also changing the color to black and white. So this is going to be a really nice effect. And it's just going to be a, a really nice tutorial for you photo editors who want to really um, optimize uh, making your guys' pictures better. So guys, let's hop into Photoshop and let's get started. So right here, we're going to go File, Open. And I want to scroll down until I find my picture. So uh, my picture is going to be right here. And I'm just going to click Open. And we're just going to say OK. And as we see, she has a lot of zits around her face. And it's not pretty a picture right now. Um, so one really thing that is going to make sure that our picture looks fantastic is going to be one tool. And it's probably going to fix the whole thing. So what we need to do is come over here to our tool panel and it's going to be right above our brush tool and it should be a kind of like a band-aid with kind of some dotted lines. So we can hold down that and it's called the spot healing brush tool. So what we can do is we can just click on that and then I'm going to make my size about 25. And 25 you want to keep it as small as you can. You can also make it all the way down to... Um, I mean we can make it down to 15 or even 10 and we can just zoom in on the picture So I'm just gonna use mine at 10 right now And what we can do is just make sure you clicked on your uh, picture and we can go in and we can fix up some of our skin And as we see right when we click it just disappears the zits the um, kind of imperfections on our skin just really disappear and you guys will find that you might run into something like this where you can really tell right over here by the headphone that it has been fixed. We can just press Control Z and just continue on fixing them. Uh, and if we run into an example of it messing up, I can definitely show you guys. And we just want to clear all of these up. Now this thing is hideous, so we're going to also take away that mole. And we can get rid of some of the imperfections. Now with greasy skin, we're not going to be able to do too much with greasy skin except kind of maybe blur out the greasy skin. Uh, we can see that she has a lot of grease right under here since due to the flash, it really makes um, it really makes it show that she does have a lot of grease on her face, which is kind of an imperfection that you can't really get away from. Um, and that's why you use the blur tool and you could use just say like a black and white filter to kind of get rid of uh, showing the grease all over your, her face. So what we want to do is we just want to get rid of all of these zits. Um, and you guys might not be able to get rid of all of them, of course, but you guys will be able to get rid of the main ones that are really going to take um, away from the picture. It's really going to create a distraction, and it's really just not going to um, look good on the photo, especially if you're taking you know, a couple pictures, you're taking um, wedding photos, and you have a blemish on your skin. You don't want uh, your wedding day to be remembered with uh, some blemishes on your skin, especially for pictures uh, that you know might be lying around the house. Um, anything even family photos you don't want to remember that day uh, as oh I hate the blemish that is on my skin so we just want to get rid of most of them and we can just kind of zoom out I'll press the magnifying glass and fit this on our screen and we see that we have gotten rid of most of what has been the great blemishes that are on this woman's skin I'm not going to take too much time just for tutorials purposes but you get what the spot healing brush tool does it really does clear up skin on Photoshop and it just really makes for a better photo this girl looks 10 times more better just without all those on this picture now of course like I said we're not going to be able to get rid of a lot of this whiteness just due to the fact that she does have a kind of a bit of grease on her face um, but what we can do is change our spot healing brush tool to about 25 now and we can get rid of just some of these spots that we see um, from a lot and we want to Click on our healing brush tool, and then we just want to uh, remember change it to 25, and just kind of fix the areas that are kind of no more noticeable now. Uh, these spots right here are really noticeable, and 
we just want to be able to get rid of those really easily really nice we don't want to have those patches of little zits and little blackheads that are on your skin all right and right here as you see right there um, this little mark that I made right here uh, I can all right so this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after that looks terrible and you can totally tell that this photo has been edited you don't want that you don't want the picture to look like it's been edited um, so you guys just want to be careful on making little marks like that um, and we can also clear up some of this whiteness by just going like that all right uh, and also, I am going to show you guys just an example of something else you could do uh, with editing your photo. Uh, while you guys are clearing up the skin, you guys might have a person that's smiling or anything like that. And let me actually pull up a picture of someone smiling really quick. We'll just say smiling girl. Uh, actually, you know what we can do? We can just say yellow teeth. And if we look that up, um, we find a lot of really bad pictures of people smiling with yellow teeth. But this girl, for example, we can pull her onto our desktop. And I'm going to open her up real quick. And right here, what we can do is we can say, we see her teeth. They are very yellow. We can come over here, and it's right underneath the paint bucket tool, two uh, tools down. And we want to hold, click, and click dodge tool. And what the dodge tool basically does is whitens up um subject so we're going to whiten up her teeth and just like that she has whiter teeth and we can also go one more time and now she has exceptionally whitened teeth so they don't look terrible um this one they were kind of uh, a very different shade of yellow so it might still look like they're yellow and this will definitely look like they're edited um, but with a few filters and a few things like that they will be uh, unnoticeable but right there uh, it's actually exceptionally um, noticeable that she doesn't have as yellow of a teeth as before so right there those are where we began that's and that's where uh, we ended up so not looking too bad but that's how you'd whiten up teeth so let's click off this and right here so now we have the girl and she doesn't look as bad as before which is the whole point of what we're doing so now to co change color of eyes you guys can do two things um, you guys can either trace around it or you guys can hue and saturation it with just uh, the magic wand tool I like to trace around it just because it gives a more realistic effect so I'm just going to tra trace around her eyes really quick like so and what I will do is when it comes up to the eyebrow uh, and sorry not the eyebrow but the eyelashes you guys want to make sure that it's not touching the eyelashes so right there we want to make a new layer say right click fill path and then we can just pick the color of what we want I'm going to select kind of this green color so I'm going to say OK and what we can do is say normal overlay and this wasn't as big so we're going to press control T on layer 1 I'm just going to make it just a tad bit bigger so it is fulfilling the whole eye. Just like that. And I can zoom out right there. And as we see, that does look a lot edited. So what we can do is take the opacity and change it just down a little bit just so it does look like an original eye color. So 50, you can kind of see the brown still in it. 60 looks okay. We're going to go with 70. So 70 doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look as edited. Um, and it won't look edited at all after we apply all of our fixes. So we want to make sure that this is over the eye, like so. And then what we can do is we can add a filter to it. Now, to add a filter to it, all we have to do is come over here. And make sure you guys are on Design instead of Essentials. Say Design, go to Swatches, and then this little guy should be right here. Hit this button right here. And what we can do is open up all these presets, or you guys can make your own. Uh, the presets in Photoshop are very nice for photo editing, and it just kind of gives a really easy experience on photo editing. So what we can do is I'm going to add a black and white, so which can be found right there. And then I'm going to hit this back arrow, and that's just going to go back. And I'm going to add a photo filter. 
and I'm going to come up here to where it says warming filter and has all these filters they have violets they have blue you can really do anything um, they have the green which would match the eyes but I'm going to go with the warming filter LBA and turn up the density to about 40% uh, and then what we can do is hit the back arrow again and I'm going to come down here to curves presets and I'm going to go to linear contrast the linear contrast is just going to make the picture look like almost a 10 times better it looks fantastic with the linear contrast you guys can always play around with the contrast though and then what we can do is add either um, some blur to kind of all the other blemishes that are on her face or we can just leave it out like this this does look 10 times better than what she did before and if you guys do want the colored eyes just take the layer one and layer uh, one copy and drag those above the black and white filter so now we have her green eyes uh, and then the rest is all like black and white so what we can do to uh, kind of blur out is we can come up here to either the smudge tool or the blur tool now the blur tool is going to kind of take a while but it's going to look more realistic and uh, I'm going to make a little bit more big of a brush and we can just go around and kind of just blur in all of the kind of greasy kind of texturized skin and we can just blur that all out Um, and this process will take probably the longest process just due to the fact that you have to keep holding down and that you guys have to just kind of take your time make sure you don't blur anything that you don't want blurred alright so we're going to come around in here get in there Like I said, this process is kind of one of the more boring processes, but this really does make up for it. And if we just press Control Z, that's all the stuff that we just dis uh, made disappear. Let me zoom in a little bit. We made all this go to this. And let me add it back on. We're going to go to Edit, Step Forward, and Edit. And we can't step forward. But like I said, it's going to really clear up the white. Um, that's reflective off of the camera flash it's going to really show up grease and we don't want as much of it as uh, is on this picture just due to the fact that there's so much um, kind of grease uh, in the cheek area of her face as well as her forehead so we're just going to get rid of all that and this is going to make your pictures just look ten times better so that's always good and we can see a lot of grease right on in here and just take the blur tool and kinda of just it's just going to really blend it in with the photo is really all this is doing it's not getting rid of anything it's going to keep her skin complexion but it's going to just take away the nasty areas of her face and also it's got all these little uh, all the pores that you guys can see in her face those are all getting erased with the blur tool um, and it's just making her skin look kind of a little bit more smooth she you can really tell that she does uh, have still kind of uh, you know the scars from zits that she's popped or that she's um, you know cleared up in the past but this is just going to kind of make it look like she has more taken care of her skin um, now so clear up the chin really quick and if we just zoom out now it's going to look a lot better she looks ten times better it looks so much better and she just looks, uh, I mean, a little, uh, at least a halfway attractive. 
So that's just uh, one way that you guys can clear up photos. If you guys do like these tutorials and you guys want to see more photos um, that can be manipulated and that they can get cleared up and they can just look a little bit better, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think of these tutorials, and I'll definitely do more of them if you guys like them on GFF, GFX Tip Friday. Sorry about that. Um, but if you guys do want to see something for next week's tutorial, please, please, please PM me, tweet me, Facebook me, or leave a comment in the comment section below. Just let me know what kind of tutorials you guys would like to see for next GFX Tip Friday. Well, guys, until next time, I hope this tutorial did help you out. Give this video a big thumbs up, and just remember, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. One, two. Three into the four, easy motherfucking E with the chrome to your dome. To your dome, to your dome, to your dome, to your dome, to your dome. For no more, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome. Me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Oh, words and tastemakers, makers, no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man.